Hey guys, Dory here and today is Tuesday the 17th of July and I was planning on starting a reading vlog from Monday to Saturday I think or Sunday I can't remember what the plan was see I can't even remember the plan moral of the story is on Sunday morning I got a call for a job interview I'm not gonna say where because one I don't want to jinx it and two I don't want to get my hopes up because this job would like be perfect for me so I spent all of Monday preparing mentally and physically and like going over a whole bunch of scenarios and questions that I was going to be asked and how I was going to respond. Yeah, that's why I didn't start my reading vlog on Monday and the reason why I'm starting now the reading vlog this late. Somehow it escaped my mind that I hadn't filmed tomorrow's video. So I was like, oh, I'm going to upload the video to YouTube. I go into my hard drive and lo and behold, there's nothing there. I had to film a video and I spent like the past three hours editing and perfecting it. Also, I just got a package in the mail. So let's open it up. I know what it is. Do you know what it is? If you follow, if you follow me on Twitter, you know what it is. But if you don't, you don't know what it is. That was an oddly satisfying sound. I'm so excited. I love this author. Um, I apologize for my hair. It's just one of those hair days. I'm, I can't explain it. So the book I got, you ready? You ready? You ready? It's Save the Date by Morgan Matson. This is a signed first edition and the Barnes and Noble exclusive. It's signed and it has a little heart. Oh, I love Morgan Matson. So if you've followed me for a long time, you know that I love Morgan Matson, and the only book I've ever read is Since You've Been Gone. I thoroughly enjoyed it and absolutely adore that book. I feel like the main character and I are the same person. I've said it a thousand times. I'll leave the video of characters I relate to up here so you guys could see my reasoning as to why I believe Emily and I are the same person. I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I'm a little scared going into it. I'm gonna go over what I'm currently reading. I'm reading several books right now. The physical copy book that I'm reading is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. This is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series. This is part of the read along that Rebecca over at Becca and the Books is doing. So I'm reading it because it is the book we're supposed to read for July. The ebook version of a book that I'm reading currently is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've seen the movie, but after finishing the last time we say goodbye, if you follow me on Instagram story, you would have known how that book left me. That book broke me to a thousand pieces. I was OMG. <laughs> it's, there's just no other way to describe this book other than saying it will break you to the point where you're like, why do I do this to myself? Why am I reading this book that only causes me pain? And the audiobook I am currently listening to is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I'm rereading it because I got a reaper at the gates and for the life of me I cannot remember what happened. <laughs> in Ember I kind of remember what happens because this is my third reread of that book but for Torch I cannot for the life of me remember what happened. Like I know it wasn't my favorite and I was really disappointed in it but I can't remember why. So I'm planning on rereading it and maybe this time around I'll end up liking Torch. For Queen of Shadows I am currently on page oh no I lost it. I lost it. Page 14. I lost... What is wrong with this dust jacket? Tomorrow's video is already uploading, so I'm happy about that. Before I sit down, though, and actually read, I have to clean up a bit. It's the dishes. I mean, the living room and everything else is pretty much clean. I did that when I got back from my interview. I'm gonna go do the dishes, and I'll listen to Ember, and I'll get some footage, some montage, and then I'll sit down and read more Queen of Shadows. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So today is Wednesday morning. I am sorry I did not update you guys last night. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update right now. So after I did the dishes, I read a few pages of Queen of Shadows. I got to page 28 before I decided I wanted to read actually Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda because that's a shorter book 
and it's contemporary and it's summer and I love reading contemporary in the summer so I ended up doing that instead I got about 17% so right now I'm just doing some pasta for lunch I'm gonna continue cooking because the pasta is gonna burn or something or other and I'll catch up with you guys later hey guys um so I have not read anything all day I did this to myself just wait till I tell you the story I am practicing shooting in manual focus so I filmed my newts slash booktube with on TBR five times and I was so stressed by the end of it I think probably by the fourth time I was like F this I'm done I'm hungry I'm getting hangry I'm just gonna go make myself some spaghetti and then I'll see what I can do the thing with autofocus is that it never stops focusing that's why you can see in my videos when I go out of focus because it never stops focusing it keeps going in and out and that's what I don't like so I thought maybe if I try in manual mode so that's why I'm practicing on manual mode, but every time I would shoot the video, I'd put it on my computer, I'd start editing, and I could still like see that it was blurry. Right now, like I said, I said F it, and I decided to film in this attire, my TBR video, and I was like, I can't do this, I'm stressed out as it is. So I'm just gonna shoot the video how I'm looking. I look fine, my makeup's okay, my hair is fine, the shirt is perfect, let's just do it. So like I said, I haven't read anything and I'm gonna try to get a rough cut of this video and once that is done, I will read a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Other than that, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow because I won't update you guys until tomorrow. Okay, so update. It is currently whatever time it is on the timestamp. Um, I'm a little late to the day because I filmed more videos, a book talk and a book tag. I'm catching up on my tags. I think I need one more and then I'm all caught up. And I did my The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand book talk, which I ended up crying as well. And I reveal stuff about my brother. And it's just, it was very emotionally <laughs> draining. And I can still feel the tears. Oh my gosh, I feel the hair. I tried to edit a video, but I was like, if I film and edit, film and edit, I'm never going to read anything. So after I finished filming, I decided not to touch the videos at all. I'm just going to make myself some dinner, which I actually have here. I'm going to make myself some hot dogs for dinner. And while the water is starting to boil, I'm going to read a little bit. So I'm actually heading over to the post office because I'm gonna send a package to one of my Throne of Glass read-along friends and, and after that I'm gonna spend the day reading. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Where are we going, mommy? Do you grab mommy? Oh no, she's mad. We are going to get a pedicure because we deserve some pampering today. Update. I have not read anything at all today. I've been hanging out with my madre. Right, mom? Yeah. <laughs> the next time I update you guys, I probably will have read a little bit. Maybe. Don't know yet. Dara here and today I've got an update for you guys. I am sorry I didn't update yesterday after my day out with my mom but when we got home I didn't read that much. What had happened was that I got sucked into this part of YouTube where there are creators who build transitions and 
opening titles that you can use as long as you give them credit. I got sucked into that and then I was like, man, I'm finally gonna create my own opening title. And as I was starting to create my opening title, I was like, this is so hard. How do I do it so it can connect with my personality? Because most of the opening titles and the transitions that they have, they're like bright colors. And I'm like the opposite. The colors were just too bright for my liking. I had spent like, <laughs> seven hours after I got home. And by the time I actually stopped making a title opening thing, it was already like one in the morning. So I went up to my room and I thought might as well try and go to sleep. But unfortunately that never happened. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I had kind of like an insomniac episode. So what I ended up doing, I ended up reading all of Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda. And I really adored that book. It was really fun to read. And the one thing I will say is I'm not too big on the writing style. I loved the story. It was just the writing style was not my thing. And I know I'm going to get a virtual slap in the face from so many of you, but... I liked the movie better than I did the book. As of right now, I don't have plans to continue on reading any more of Becky Albertalli's books. One of the things I will say about the book is I did not like Leah's character at all. I feel like she was over dramatic over the little simplest thing ever. I get where she was coming from. This new girl comes into town and then suddenly everybody's fawning over her. For me, Leo's personality was way too childish. I understood the reasoning behind why he chose to tell Abby first. Leah saw it as such a big betrayal. She's like, oh, you trusted her more than you trust me. So for Leah to act so childish and say, oh, you guys hung out with her without me, like, Leah, you hang out with Nick all the time without Simon and do you get shit about it? No, he also feels left out, but he doesn't say anything. And one time, one freaking time that they hang out without you and all of a sudden, oh, go have fun with your new best friend. Like I said, those are all my thoughts on the book. I loved the story. I loved Simon in Blue. It was just the best story ever. But yeah, I am running on three hours of sleep. Sleep. See, I can't even talk. I feel like it's gonna be that day. I'm gonna be a zombie and sluggish. Since I finished a book yesterday, I feel like I have completed some reading. I feel like I have done some reading. Yesterday, I also read a little bit of Queen of Shadows. I got to page 63, which is chapter eight. I know it may not seem like a lot of progress, but for me, that is a lot of progress, especially because chapter seven was such a big chapter. Chapter eight is a Manon chapter, which I know everybody loves Manon. I didn't like Manon's character in Air of Fire or at the beginning of Queen of Shadows. I think I started really liking Manon's character after she started realizing being a, a, a black beak was not all it's cracked up to be and she started finding out all these secrets about her grandmother and all the things her grandmother did to her clan. So let's just say that there's a certain part in Queen of Shadows where she just jumps. And that's when I'm like, yep, she's badass. I like her. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start exporting some footage that I took from vlogging and edit some of that. And I actually finished editing The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand book talk. That one, though, is not gonna go up next week. It's gonna go the week after that. The video that's gonna go up next week, it's a tag video. And I actually have to finish editing that one. I have no idea why I finished editing the last time we say goodbye instead of the tag video, but my brain works in mysterious ways. Also, my mom got locked out of her car, so I actually have to go and give, send her the keys. So I'm gonna go do that. And then when I come back, I'll end up editing for a bit and then I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm actually thinking about rearranging my room right now. I know it's like 10 probably already, maybe even 11. I don't know, I have to check the time. I'm gonna move my bed and I'm gonna move my bookcases. And basically all the furniture, I'm gonna move everything. I'll try to listen to Ember or Queen of Shadows. Hopefully this time I remember to actually update you guys tonight before I go to bed. Hey guys, so an update. Um, I'm like wide awake. I believe it's already like 
12 in the morning. I'm not gonna show you that side of the bedroom because it still needs cleaning. It looks gross and disgusting. So the only corner that I have clean is of course the corner where I'm keeping my bookcases. And as you can tell, look at them, they're bare. I'm going to clean them right now and then I'm gonna start rearranging the books. And once I rearrange them, I'm gonna get started on that side of the bedroom. drum of how do I rearrange my books. I like how they used to be, but I feel like that's how I always do it. So I want something new. And for the life of me, I will not be able to ever do a rainbow bookshelf, which is something I've always wanted, but I'm just not color coordinated enough to do that. So I'm just gonna start putting books and see where it leads. have finished rearranging my room and I put the books in my bookcase. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys what my room looks like. I'm not gonna show you that side, mostly because that's still messy. My reading chair is full of clothes and it's just a mess and I don't wanna show you that. So I'm just gonna show you this side of the room. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is what this side of my room looks like. But to give you an idea of how my room was rearranged before I moved everything, the bed was right here. It was, I wanna say vertical to the wall. The bookcases were on that side of the room, exactly how they're positioned right now, but straight like that. They were positioned on that wall where the TV is at. And my TV used to be in the corner over there. That's my room for you guys. So now that I showed you my room and all, I think I'm gonna call it a night. While I was rearranging my room though, I was listening to Queen of Shadows on Audible and I got to chapter 15. So that is it for right now and I'll see you guys later today. Hey guys, so I have not read at all today. I've been kind of busy uh, cleaning my house at high speed because we have a family barbecue. I don't think he's gonna turn around. <laughs> so this is my first time trying this Angry Orchard beer thing. My brother has been asking me to try it for how many years now, Vega? Years, uh, I'd say like two or three. I normally don't drink beer. I don't like the taste of beer, so. What, baby? Do you want to be on camera? Look! Yeah! <laughs> I don't normally drink beer because I don't like the taste of it, so... Whoa, there. You got a ghost in here. We probably do. Huh! I like it! It does not taste like the normal beer. So now I'm just gonna eat some burgers with my familia. And I'll check on with you guys later. Hey guys, originally the barbecue was going to be at my sister's house, but we changed the plans and we ended up doing it at my place. I think I'm going to end my reading vlog <laughs> right here. I don't know if we can call it a reading vlog. I hardly ever read. I think I read the most on Saturday 
and Friday evening. So for this reading vlog, I ended up finishing one book and I got a hundred and something pages into Queen of Shadows. So overall, for me, that's like a very successful reading week. I like this. I do in reading vlogs. I feel like it keeps me accountable and it makes me want to read. So yeah, so for this week, I finished one book, which was Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I loved it, as I said. The author's writing style was not my style, so I will not be continuing on with those other Becky Albertalli books. I'm like 100 pages into Queen of Shadows, so I'm ending the vlog right now. And I will see you guys on Monday with the start of a new reading vlog. Bye! <laughs>